11 dudes graduated and one guy failed for an integrity violation. One of my friends and teammates working with the cadre and was learning like all the different escape and evasion routes. He told us. So it's not uncommon for this to happen. Even as a student, I still had buddies that were already at SWIC going through their um, instructor rotation. And more often than none, guys will reach out to them, try to get some feedback, G2 the course, see what they need to do, see what pitfalls they need to avoid, so on and so forth. Which lane we were going to be on, and I went out and I buried boxes of MREs. Totally cheating. Guys that were coming out of SEER school, they'd lose 30 pounds. We want to go to war. There's 11 guys, all 18 x-rays, and we have one Air Force on our team. How long can you survive? We dig them up. I so I appreciate the honesty here, guys, but as someone that does coaching and mentoring, I'm gonna say this. Do what your rank could handle, right? Do what you're willing to sacrifice. Because I can tell you right now, what he's talking about, a lot of guys have tried to do this type of stuff and have gotten caught in their dreams of becoming a Special Forces Green Beret ends right then and there because what we're talking about here is an integrity violation, right? And it also takes away from training. You're supposed to go through and get the entire scope of the training. And if you're evading and you're supposed to be looking for food and getting good training value out of it and you're finding ways to cheat the system, are you technically getting all the training value out of it? I would go as far as to say no. So to all my guys that are watching this that follow me over here, just ask yourself, is it worth it? And if it is, then go on and do what you got to do, right? And if it's not, I strongly recommend that you don't take this path. Hand out these MREs. And this Air Force guy's like, that's cheating. He wouldn't eat any of them. We helped him forge for food. We get captured. The moment they pull up that Air Force's guy's hood, we hear him start screaming, they had food buried. You could hear a pin drop. Now that I don't agree with. I don't believe that you should snitch on your teammates, um, especially during training, right? Because your cadre, that seer cadre that's evaluating you guys he sees that as a flaw at that point you're not loyal to your teammates right so um snitching on the team and saying that they had mres and all that as soon as you get caught or you get rolled up like what are you trying to achieve like that i don't recommend doing either so i don't recommend cheating doing the evasion lane and i don't recommend snitching on your team if you don't agree with what they're doing and immediately they separate all 12 of us. Their interrogations were trying to find legitimate real information. 11 dudes graduated and one guy failed for an integrity violation. All 11 of us stayed in our circle and didn't break and you have graduated. The whole entire cadre comes and gets the 11 of us and they're like, seriously, what happened? It proved the things that they were teaching actually worked in real interrogations. All right, now you can look at this scenario in two different light. Now you can look at this last piece of information in two different light. Number one, the team that he snitched on, they banded together and they said, fuck that dude, and he didn't end up graduating. So that's one way to look at it, right? Air Force guys snitch, they hang him out to dry because it was either the Air Force guy or it was Tim Kennedy. Either way, somebody was going to go, right? And the team chose to rally behind Tim instead of the Air Force guy, right? Another way you can look at this is none of those 11 dudes had any character, had any integrity, and they painted the Air Force guy as a liar and they hang him out to dry. Because at any given time, you know, somebody within that group would have said, hey, that dude doesn't deserve to fail and possibly his career in or whatever the Air Force did to him. He's right. We did have MREs. He's not lying. Like, he's right, we're wrong, right? So two different ways to look at it. Let me know which one you go with. I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys my two cents because um, as somebody that's currently coaching and mentoring guys looking to go to Special Forces Assessment and Selection, the Q course and eventually group, I just want you guys to know what right looks like. And if I were you guys, I would not go this route because it's you're, you're putting a lot on the line for something thus far you've worked so hard for. We look at each other and we look back at them. We're like, the moment I get my green beret, I will talk to you about what this looked like. They were thrilled that this stuff worked. Again, I've heard countless stories of guys doing this. And I've also heard countless stories of guys getting caught and their dreams ending. All right, guys, let me know what you think.